The following video contains major plot details for the ending of Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Or does it? More right after this. What is happening, Internet? K-Wing here. And before we get started, if you guys could smash the like button for this insane rumor about the ending of Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Now, personally, I don't know if this is true or not, but the game is coming out in May, and some of what this leaker says might be legit, or it could be, you know, way, way off. So take the following information with a grain of salt. But uh, major plot details possibly being spoiled right now, so turn away or come back in a few months and double-check and see if I was right or not. So, according to different people on the internet through various online forms, which I'm not going to mention the names because some of them are crazy. We have some interesting things about what happens at the end of Suicide Squad Killed the Justice League. And just like the Flash movie, that's right, it's another Flashpoint reboot. So let's talk about how this happens. As you know, Batman is still around in the uh, Suicide Squad Killed the Justice League. We don't know how, but that is indeed Bruce Wayne Batman rocking a new suit that is very similar to... Well, some of the other armored bat suits we've seen, and it's kind of like a, a combination of different Arkham suits. And it looks pretty nice. So uh, everybody knows that Bruce Wayne in this universe is Batman, and the events of Arkham Knight did happen. At least, we believe it has. He also was an agent of Brainiac in this new world. So that's all confirmed. So what happens at the end of the game? Well, according to a anonymous leaker... Barry goes back in time and basically reboots the Arkham universe. Anything past Arkham Asylum is no longer canon, with exception to maybe Origins and Blackgate is kind of left in the air. And there's probably a reason why they're doing that, and I'll get into that in a little bit. Joker did not die, so the events of Arkham City did not happen. That means Talia is also alive. And Luther is now president, having cured the Joker, and wants to start a Legion of Doom to keep things from getting too far out of control like when the Justice League was taken over by Brainiac. So basically the Legion of Doom would be checks and balances against the League rather than, you know, their arch enemies fighting the League. So it's a little different and a little weird. Harley breaks up with Joker after the events of Arkham Asylum and tries to find Ivy who is now missing after the events of Arkham Asylum. So most likely they're probably going to do a Harley and Ivy pairing because, well, that's what's popular right now. Uh, Bruce gets a voicemail from a small child who calls him father, implying that the kid is Damien, and Damien now exists. So let's back up the Batmobile just a little bit. They're saying now Damien exists in this Arkham reboot. Well, he has always existed. There has been a little Easter egg to Damien all the way back in Arkham City with a night in Metropolis speech uh, between Talia and Batman, implying that they have been intimate on more than one occasion. So it's not without the realm of possibility that Damien was always born in the Arkham universe. We just never saw him. Maybe if they would have continued the franchise, Damien would have popped up. But they went with the Jason Todd uh, storyline instead. And they killed Talia off uh, very quickly in Arkham City. That's right, Zelda. Damien was also a future Arkham game that never came to be. But there was a lot of stuff about it taking place in the future of Gotham. Maybe that could actually happen now. And uh, also, I mean, the reboot feels like a good idea, but we'll talk about that at the end of this little uh, leak discussion. So, of course, Bruce got a voicemail from a small child saying he's Batman's son. So, White Deadshot never existed in the Arkham universe, and there was only the Black Deadshot, who never had to deal with an imposter he's seen in a hospital holding a baby girl. So, the reason why, of course, they changed uh, Deadshot's um, race is because of Will Smith in the Suicide Squad movie, and when the game was in development, Will Smith was also playing Deadshot. So it makes sense that Warner Brothers would want to have a high-profile uh, version of Deadshot as opposed to the original version of Deadshot. So that is why Deadshot most likely will stay the way he is, and maybe we'll see, well, actually with Will Smith's career the way it is now, I don't know if we'll see Will Smith return as Deadshot in James Gunn's new DC Studios. I guess we'll see. Okay, as for King Shark, who is another member of the Suicide Squad and a playable character in the game, at the end of the game, he's in Hawaii eating tourists. So, 
I guess, you know, a shark never changes his stripes. I don't know. It's supposed to be funny. King Shark is, of course, the uh, comedic element of the movie, just like James Gunn's The Suicide Squad. And uh, King Shark will be a very interesting character. And, of course, uh, Captain Boomerang, who they call Captain Boomer, is in jail at the end of the events of the game. So, again, please take the following with a grain of salt because this is not confirmed. This is just fun speculation based on rumors that are currently circulating all over the internet uh, from various forum sites that we won't discuss. But um, I would like to think some of this is true, and I will tell you why. So as we all know, Gotham Knights was an abysmal bomb. Uh, the game was not a win for Warner Brothers. It was not a win for WB Games Montreal. And as of uh, January of 2023, Warner Brothers and WB Games Montreal have not released the sales for the game which uh, leads many to believe that it was a commercial flop. Now, what franchise could Warner Brothers resurrect that would be something that fans would look forward to, but something that's ended? If you said the Arkham Universe, then guess what? You are correct, because that is a very lucrative and uh, big brand that basically Warner Brothers has put on the sideline for many years. And how in the world would you bring that back? Well, sadly, you'll never bring back the Arkham Universe the way it was. Uh, unfortunately, Kevin Conroy passed away, and uh, without Kevin Conroy, you have no Mark Hamill's Joker, because he is not going to do a duet without his other partner. So that means basically everyone will probably be recast, which is fine. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it would make a lot of sense. If they're keeping Origins and Blackgate in the uh, new canon, supposedly, then it would make sense to utilize the talents of Roger Craig Smith again, and maybe finally give people the Arkham stuff that they wanted, for the longest time, which is basically so many different Arkham games that they can just keep pumping out that will give um, some serious competition to the Assassin's Creed franchise by Ubisoft because, well, the Assassin's Creed franchise is kind of slowing down a little bit, but it's still a very successful brand. It makes Ubisoft a lot of money every time they release a new Assassin's Creed game. And I think Warner Brothers kind of wants in on that whole reboot pie. Now, after the events of Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, we still don't know what the ending is yet, although that'll probably leak in the coming months, and we can find out if this will kind of, like, tie in or not. Uh, right now, it's kind of making the rounds, and it's kind of funny. Like, I really think that, again, it has some weight to it, and it would make sense to reboot the Arkham franchise. The only thing that I wish they kept was the events of Arkham City, or at least partially the events of Arkham City, because that was actually the best game in the franchise. Going back after the events of Arkham Asylum and then doing a time skip all the way to Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League where we see Bruce Wayne still alive with a young uh, child calling him who could be Damien. I mean, it's sweet and stuff, but I don't know. Also, just like uh, Kevin Conroy was replaced with the guy from the uh, new 52 animated films, it would be kind of... Nice, I guess, if the end of uh, the Suicide Squad killed the Justice League, they have Roger Craig Smith voice um, Batman speaking to Damien on the phone. Because usually when flashpoints happen, you know, not everything exactly is the same once Flash is done rebooting everything. Uh, but again, it's just um, a possibility. It's not concrete. But uh, now I want to hear from all of you guys and gals. Do you think that Suicide Squad Killed the Justice League is going to get a Flashpoint reboot so that DC can resurrect the Arkham brand after the failure of Gotham Knights? Uh, let me know in the comments section below. Also, are you annoyed that if this leak is true that the uh, storyline will be rebooted after the events of Arkham Asylum and not the pinnacle games City and Night? Um, I'm still on the fence after all of that. I mean, Arkham Knight was a pretty clear-cut, you know, end to the Batman story. There's a crazy rumor going around that after the events of Arkham Knight, right around the time that Bruce Wayne's manor exploded, that uh, Brainiac actually teleported Batman out of the manor. I think that's really stupid, but I mean, I guess it could be, anything could be possible. Personally, I would love to see them do a reboot and uh, have Roger Craig Smith play Batman because I love the Arkham games. It's a tried and true formula that works, and uh, it could actually make Warner Brothers a lot of money if the games don't suck. But um, I don't know how people are going to feel if this is true, and they're basically throwing out so many years of good canon just to start over again, like the new 52 or something like that. But anyway, that's it. That's all. Thank you so much for listening. Keep it locked here for more news 
on everything Batman in video games, TV, movies, and occasionally comics when they don't suck. And yes, we'll be talking about the terrible Gotham Knights TV show later this week. All right, guys, thanks so much. Uh, leave a like on your way out and uh, share this video so you can inform another friend about what's going on in the world of Batman. I'll see you guys uh, over on my other channel playing some cool anime games later today. Later.